Yes. Mm -hmm. Just looking uh, at uh, the book of Hebrews, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 8, verse 8, 4, finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, uh -huh. the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, with the house of Judah. <laughs> Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, <laughs> because they continued not my covenant, <laughs> and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. <laughs> For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. <laughs> I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, <laughs> and they shall be to me a people. <laughs> And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, <laughs> and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. <laughs> for I will be merciful uh, to their unrighteousness, <laughs> and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. <laughs> In that he saith, A new covenant he hath made uh, the first old. <laughs> now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. <laughs> Now, then verily, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary, <laughs> for there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary, <laughs> and after the second veil, the tabernacle, which uh, is called the holiest of all, <laughs> which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot mm -hmm, that had manna and Aaron's rod uh, then budded, that budded and the tables of the covenant. Yeah. And over it the cherubims of glory shadowing the mercy seat, of which we cannot now speak particularly. Mm -hmm. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, mm -hmm, accomplishing the service of God. Mm -hmm. But into the second went the high priest alone once every year, mm -hmm. uh, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Mm -hmm. Now the Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, <laughs> While, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure uh -huh, for the time then present in which we are offered uh, both gifts and sacrifices <laughs> that could not make him that did the service perfect. You couldn't be perfected because of the gifts and sacrifices as pertaining to the conscious, the conscious mind of the individual. <laughs> which stood only in meats and drinks and diverse washings and carnal ordinances uh, imposed on them until the time of Reformation. Yeah. But Christ, being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, yes, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, yeah, neither by the blood of goats and calves, uh, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, <laughs> having obtained eternal redemption for us. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this idea of entering the holiest of holies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is kind of a revivalist type of experience where you get to be in the holiest of holies because that's where Christ is. Yes. And it requires an actual uh, large group of individuals that are praying that God would do something for them. <laughs> now, I get to be, yes, if I do what I'm planning, right, I get to stand on the stage and I get to stand in the holiest of holies so Jesus, yes, can do the miraculous. <laughs> it's a personal goal of myself. <laughs> Now, um, this idea of entering the holiest of holies because you're in the way, yes, where you come to find out what the service was about, where you're fucking those in the congregation or fucking through them. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that was part of the original redemptive work of Christ. Yeah. Now, for all of you that said we're going this way, yeah. I don't see it. Pooch. I don't see coming to find out what the service was about as actually the getting into the holiest of holies or maybe even uh, through the first yes, veil. Yeah. Now, those that said, well, well I'm just going to have to fuck them. Pooch. There's a big problem with the use of your technology. Yes. 
I think that when you get into that most holy place because of what Christ had done, yeah, the redemption, yes. Mm -hmm. and the, was there a word reformation here? Tabernacle, once you your blood offered and so none may manifest in the tabernacle. <laughs> Sacrifice is service perfect pertaining to the conscience. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is the word reformation in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I thought there was a word. Uh, <laughs> well, there was, a, there was a new covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm wanting to enter into that most holy place where Jesus does the miracles through me so that I can get high. Yes. <laughs> and I think there's a certain amount of biblical mm -hmm, as well as uh, historical precedence for what I'm talking about. Yes. Now, um, your whole idea that you're not going to enforce the laws today is obstructing me from wanting to uh, revival humanity. I need them to have lots of babies for the next 15 years. Yes. I need to make trillions of dollars and file millions of lawsuits. Yes. And then when I'm ready to go, okay, it'll be time to start the revival. Now, let's say you started without me. Yes. Would I be offended if you decided... <coughs> Why don't you go ahead? You just take it upon yourselves right now. Because, because, 